Hello friends. Today is Monday, July 10th. I'm Amy Pagan. This is Amy Pagan Art. And today we're going to create passion flowers. They're so pretty. They're really cool. They look like little alien flowers if you've not seen them. And uh, yeah, and that's what we're going to create today. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, this class happens every Monday at noon. You don't have to register. You don't have to pay me anything. You just need to show up with an open heart and an open mind and a willingness to create. That's it. That's all you need. Um, so with that in mind, if you agree that you are going to be kind to yourself, not compare your work, just kind of have fun. We're just going to have fun. We're just going to create something together and uh, maybe learn a new skill or hear a funny joke um, from one of y'all because y'all never let me down with your fabulous jokes and your cool little tidbits. Um, I always love hearing from you. That in mind? Okay, so if you agree that you're going to be kind to yourself and you're going to give this a shot and you're not going to give up on yourself today, you just give me a heart or a thumbs up and then we'll get started. Okay, because today's class is pre-recorded, you're on your honor. So I'm assuming if you are still here, you have agreed to be kind to yourself. So keep that in mind. Um, so passion flowers. Okay, these beautiful flowers grow here in Texas. And um, apparently once you get them going, they, they just take care of themselves. Um, I was over with my friend Kelsey yesterday at her house and... Um, these little guys are all over the place and she thinks they're a nuisance. I think they're beautiful. <laughs> she probably thinks they're beautiful too, but according to Kelsey, once you get them going, they just uh, do their own thing. Um, so they're really, really good for attracting um, birds and bees, um, particularly hummingbirds. So Kelsey's gonna try to uh, get a cutting for me so that I can have them in my yard. And um, while we're waiting for um, for them to grow in our in our yards, um, I thought we could paint them. Um, I have some reference photos today, and that's not something that I've shown um, in this class before. I can't believe I haven't done that. But um, usually, what I do when I'm going to um, do a painting is I take a few pictures, and then um, I go by those to do my painting. So I'm not just pulling this out of my brain. Um, fun fact. I used to think that that wasn't, um, that, that was like cheating in art to use reference photos. Why did I think that? I don't know you guys, I was insane. Um, perfectly fine, please use reference photos, they're helpful. <laughs> it doesn't make you less of an artist. Um, but so what we're gonna do is, um, is do a little sketch. Um, and I have two different photos here of passion flowers from different angles. Um, we're mostly going to be ba basing our drawing on our drawing and painting on this one here with the two flowers, but I think y'all know how I feel about numbers, <laughs> numbers of objects. So I thought, um, rather than have an even number, um, and the reason behind that, if y'all haven't heard me say this before, the reason I like to do an odd number is because when you have two of an item, your eye is pulled backwards and forwards between them. Um, but when you have an odd number, it sort of flows more evenly in your brain. Um, so I always use odd numbers of items. I think it makes the painting uh, sit more beautifully. So that's what we're gonna do. First thing you're gonna want is your pencil and your paper. I am using Canson Cold Press 140 pound watercolor paper and I have um, bent it and then torn it along the fold. Um, and um, that way it is four by six. You don't have to do that. I like doing that um, because then I can turn it into a postcard. You don't have to. Um, if you do not have watercolor paper and you plan to paint today, it's okay. Use the thickest paper that you have around because then it'll absorb your water better. And if you're drawing, you just use whatever you want. Use whatever paper you want, use whatever supplies you want. Um, totally up to y'all. Okay. So let's plan our little painting. So what I'm gonna do, I, I look at where the center of my paper is. So I just do like an imaginary line around there and then I'm just gonna 
make a little dot and that's the center of my paper. Um, if you're, if you're joining me for the first time today, when I make my pencil marks in this class, I make them dark so that you can see them all the way across the internet. When you are doing your drawings, please do very light pencil marks so it doesn't interfere with the beauty of your painting. These are really just for an outline so you know where you're going to set everything. Okay, so let's do three flowers. We're going to do a little oval, kind of tilted. So here's my center. I went up and over, and it's the size of my fingerprint. It's just kind of a little wobbly oval. It doesn't need to be perfect. Over here, I'm going to do another oval. And let's see, where should we put our third one, y'all? I think we should put it maybe, yeah. We're gonna do a little bud right here. So I'm gonna do another little, little oval there for a bud. Okay, so that's gonna, those uh, ovals are this center right here in our passion flower, okay? Um, and then you see we have petals. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that about even with all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, maybe. So that's kind of what we're gonna go for. These petals are um, just long little fat ovals. They're not nearly as fat as a rose. Those would be like almost circular. So these guys are gonna be long like a finger. So I'm going to do those coming out like a starburst and they have a rounded end. So there's one and that one is coming out from the center of my flower. It's almost two knuckles long. So one, this would be two, but it's really like kind of there, okay? And then I'm just going to kind of do a few of those coming out on my flower. One, two, three. The longer and further away something gets, the stranger it's going to look. So let's talk about what I just did. And I'll show you how. Okay, don't worry, I'm going to walk you through all those. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll put another one right there, nine. Um, here's the thing. These guys here, they're pretty much the same length, right? Same width. As we go around our flower, things in the distance, so here's my finger, look, if you're looking at it straight on. If I tilt it, it would look like it's shorter. Can you see that? So long ways tilted it looks shorter so that's what i did here i just made that i made it um, almost like a little triangle here right it's a rounded triangle because the rest of the here's the petal if it was flat and here it is bent and you can almost not see it okay so that's what we're going for so bent this one kind of bends out to the side so i did one two three four five six seven eight how did that happen one two three four five six seven eight yes so let's add one more, <laughs> nine. Did y'all see me count incorrectly and laugh to yourselves? I bet you did, that's okay. I would laugh at me too. Um, so there's one. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna do the same thing over here. And don't worry, like all the squiggles and all the extra stuff, we're gonna get to that. One, here's another one. So long and flat, because I'm kind of looking at it from that angle. Gets a little shorter when it goes to the side. And here I'm looking at it from a very long angle. So it looks like that. There we go. Okay, don't worry about Bud. We'll get to him later. Um, do you see these little weird, weird, weird stamens coming out from our flower? Um, I don't want us to overly sketch this thing and make you nervous about like all these different lines you have to fix. But because these are a much lighter color, we do want to go ahead and outline them a little bit um, so that we can avoid putting our purple paint on there later. Okay, so go right to the center of your oval and do a skinny little oval sticking out. 
and then it's going to, and it's one knuckle long, and it's kind of pointing out that way. And then um, what we'll do is just do a little line with a little oval at the end, and we're just going to do several of those. Let's see. So lines with little ovals. I did one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's recount. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do one more seven. Okay, same thing over here. Little tiny hot dog sticking out. And then almost like little antennas, right? Three, four, five, six. Amy can't stand even numbers. Seven. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I think we're good. Okay, before I overdraw this, let's stop. Okay, I'm gonna show you all some colors. If you are using markers, pull out your markers. If you're using colored pencils, pull out your colored pencils. If you're using crayons, pull those out. Um, whatever you want, acrylics, whatnot. This is my Classics palette made by Art Philosophy. Um, and this is the one that I use in almost every class with y'all. And it comes with this little sample card um, that you fill in with your paints. So I'm gonna look at this and go, okay, obviously purple, right? And then I think some hot pink is gonna be nice for like a little contrast in these uh, petals. And then see that kind of burgundy color we have? We might do um, some heavy purple with like a little bit of red dropped in and then we've got this yellow, so we'll use that. Um, I wanna show you some alternatives if you wanted to invest in other colors. This one is the same company, Art Philosophy, it's the Tropicals. And you can see how they have like more of a variety. So this one, if you were to use it, would match really well. So like there's the purple, there's that burgundy color that's right in there. The pineapple would be great um, for the little stamens. So. Um, just an option. I'm not going to use this today. Um, maybe if I do a personal painting for me, I will. But so that it's easier for y'all to follow along, let's use some standard colors today. But always feel free to kind of wing it, okay? Um, okay. The first thing we're going to do is lay some color on these petals. And what I'm going to grab, even though these petals are like a light violet, the first thing we're going to lay down is going to be some pink. And then we're gonna layer some purple in there. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab my hot pink. I First of all, I rinsed my brush and now I'm grabbing my hot pink. And I'm just gonna do very lightly. Needs more water. Very lightly. I'm gonna go over each petal. And when we do this, this is called a wash. And it's just a very light bit of color that we put to um, to kind of get everything started. And if you're using your colored pencils or your crayons, that just means go over it once um, lightly, okay? And as always, you can see I'm turning my paper in order to have a better angle for what I'm doing. You guys feel free to turn your paper. You see how I'm avoiding that stamen? Um, do that. And if uh, if you accidentally get a little bit of color on the stamen, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, so see how this one's really dark? I'm going to pull some of that and use it for another petal. And I'll just keep doing that so that I have a light wash of color. I don't need it to be super dark pink. Just adding in a little bit, okay? We're going to leave that bud alone. We're going to come back to it. Don't worry. Okay, while this is still a little wet, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna rinse my brush, rinse, rinse, rinse. I'm gonna grab some purple. And I'm gonna throw it on here onto my petals. And now I have a pinky purple. If you're using acrylics, you could go ahead and mix your colors on your palette. Um, or if you're using liquid watercolors, you could do that. Um, I try to keep this glass as basic as possible, so we're just going to do layers. 
um, so you guys don't have to buy fancy stuff. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, um, you'll see that I use Art Philosophy paints and Canson paper and um, Princeton brushes. They, that's not a sponsorship. I'm not getting any money to say that. Um, I'm letting you know what works best for me that is at a reasonable price, um, relatively speaking, because with art supplies, you can end up spending a gillion, bajillion dollars if you want to. Um, or you can get really good products for a very reasonable price. And some of those like super gabillion-y um, art supplies are really worth it. Um, depending on, you know, what you want to achieve. But other times, you don't have to. So I just, um, you know, for hobbies, for making yourself happy, for doing a little, like, painty break, you to, please don't spend a gazillion dollars. Okay. Now, um, we're going to need to let the petals dry for a little bit. Um, but in the meantime, we are going to get some deep purple and we're going to use little dots to connect um, the center. So what we're gonna do, see all these little doodahs? We're just gonna go dot, 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 dot. That's what we're going for, dot, dot, dot. And we're doing the dots so that it doesn't look like a big solid circle uh, because we're gonna wanna drop in other colors and a little bit. And also we're trying to give the texture of this flower. So there's still, you know, blank space left in there. Um, and I want you to do that. So just make dots going in your circle. Dot, 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 dot. And don't feel like you have to fill the whole thing up, okay? Um, I wanna show you something that just happened. See my purple touched that, and then it spread out to the, one of my dots. Um, spread where the paint was wet, it's fine. It's fine if that happens. Because they're all using the same colors. Okay. And now we wait. Okay, while we're waiting, let's talk about that bud. All right, so little bud is the petals and they're kind of closed still. Eventually they're gonna open up and be a big round flower. Um, but right now they're like this. So what would be really cool is if we can do colors, like we'll start with our um, darker color down here at the base of the bud and then we're going to go lighter with like some pink. So let's grab that purple and we're just going to paint that base. One, two, three little lines. Four little lines. Don't worry, we're blending. So I won't freak out about the color, <laughs> about the number, the number of lines I just did. And over here, I'm taking my hot pink and I'm putting it at the top. And now I'm going to rinse my brush. And I'm pulling my paintbrush on the side over here. Just let me demonstrate while I've got that camera going. All right, rinse, 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 ready? And then I pull it along the side so that I don't have big drippies on the ferrule. This is the ferrule that might fall down and get water all over my painting. Um, okay, and now I have nothing on my brush but water. And I'm just going to pull that down and it's gonna blend all by itself look at that so cool um i'm gonna leave that guy alone for quite a while and let him dry blah 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 blah, blah. what did i want to do next okay so that's drying that's drying that's drying um okay before we tackle that stamen let's put some texture on our petals okay are my petals dry yes my petals are dry, so I'm gonna, I've got my paintbrush, I'm gonna pull it to a nice point. I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of purple. And right now my petals look a little fluffy and I'm going to outline them with a the purple. And then kind of let it blend. I'm gonna do a line here up the center where it, kind of, where it kind of has like this little fold in the middle. And I'm just gonna do that with everybody. I'm gonna come over here on one side, do a little bit of the purple outline, do a little bit of purple coming up the top, 
and then pull it down. And I'm pulling it down so this would be the halfway mark. That would be like two thirds. So you're leaving a little bit at the edge for mystery. No, because really it's not as a, uh, just kind of becomes less uh, less curved or less, uh, less bent. That's the better way to say that. So I'm just doing a few little lines here at the top and then pulling it down. Isn't it amazing? Okay, so stop for a second and look. Fluffy, uh, um, very pretty, but not very structured petal. And then we just do a little bit of an outline and it, and it really kind of, adds quite a touch, doesn't it? All right, line going down the middle, almost to the bottom, but not quite. Bloop. With watercolor, um, and actually with lots of other art forms as well, it's the details that make the difference. So you start out with very undeveloped um, bit of art, right? And what stops a lot of people, you know, they, they'll, they'll, they'll start their painting or their drawing and then they'll look and say like, oh, you know, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look great yet. And they give up before they've really given themselves a chance because until you've given yourself a chance to add all these details in, of course it's gonna not be done because it's not done. That's like pulling a pizza out of the oven after two minutes and saying, Oh, look, it's, it's not melting and it's awful. And um, that's why we don't do that to ourselves. That's why we agree to be kind to ourselves and keep going and, and give our painting a chance to develop and come to life. Right? Also, in case you have not picked up on, on my metaphors, it's kind of a good way to go through life. Give yourself a chance. There's a lot of, you know, well, how do I say this? The world has a lot of people who have a lot of self-confidence and are frankly mean. And, um, Kind people sometimes think that self-confidence is, is arrogance, you know what I mean? And so they try, I don't know, they kind of like stomp out their confidence before they've ever re even really started. Um, and it's just different personality types. But I don't want you guys to do that to yourselves. I want you to give yourself a chance to succeed. Give yourself a chance to be proud of what you create. Believe in yourself, I guess is what I'm saying. You guys aren't here for that. You're here for art. I'll be quiet now. I won't really be quiet. I never stop talking. <laughs> Which is good because otherwise it would just be my hands, right? Um, my hands moving. Not that that's bad. But anywho, those are my words of wisdom for today. Okay. So we outline one side, we pull down the center with this purple, and then we just kind of do a few little halfway lines. So like if this comes down two thirds, this is this part where I'm just doing like little extra lines at the top, that's maybe one third of our petal. Look at the difference from where we started and where we are now. Amazing. All right. And now it's stamen time, and we're gonna paint the stamens. Da, 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 da. What am I singing? Ladies' night. I hope it's ladies' night. Okay. Do I want to paint the stamens yet? No. You know what? Let's fill in the rest of our little dots. All right, little dots. We're gonna come here. We're gonna grab a little bit of pink, and my paintbrush has a nice little tip. And ready to dot. We're gonna go dot 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 dot. And we're kind of doing um, a little bit in a row. Not entirely in a row, but kind of following little curvy lines. Okay, that's good. I'm happy, you happy? Be happy. All right, now we gotta let that dry. Dry, 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 dry. While that's drying, 
we are going to put in some leaves. We're not gonna freak out about it. We don't need to sketch them. It's gonna be fine. Okay, I've rinsed my brush. I'm gonna grab some green. Oops, my paintbrush was not wet enough. Here we go, do it again. By the way, who has flower jokes? Go ahead and put them in those comments whenever you want to. Passion flower jokes or regular jokes or gardening jokes or whatever. Make it, make it relevant and it counts. Okay, I'm going to imagine a big leaf shape. Um, and when I talk about leaf shape, if you haven't been in this class before, it's basically um, like a raindrop. Point, curve, come back to the point. So I'm imagining that coming from out here. So here's my curve and a little point. Okay, and then uh, I'll do a little line down the middle. One leaf that's kind of like sitting off to the side. I'm gonna do another one over here. Little points. How do we feel about even numbers? We can't stand them. Leaf number three, leaf number four. We're gonna need one more leaf. Leaf number five, little line down the middle. Okay, and then Bud, Bud's gonna need some green too, but here's what we're gonna do for Bud. Don't touch Bud if he's still wet. If he's not wet, do a little curvy line following his Bud. One little curvy line, two little curvy line. That's all we need to do for Bud. Okay, and now I'm going to not use a ton of water, but a little bit, and I'm just gonna do a light wash on this leaf, and I'm going to not touch the purple as much as I can. Okay, if you touch your purple, and everything starts to bleed, first of all, don't panic. It'll be fine. Um, keep a paper towel nearby for just such an incident. And you can, uh, you can just pat it. Pat it dry. Or you can wing it and go like, man, it's fine. It's fine. All right, I'm turning my paper so that I have a good angle to paint that leaf. I want you to notice um, when we are filling in our colors, I'm not going back and forth and back and forth. You'll see I use one angle of motion. First of all, if you go back and forth and back and forth, you smush up your bristles. So don't do that. But also when you're putting down these lines, these bits of color, you want it to kind of flow, right? So do one direction, come back one direction. All right. Look at how far you've come. You're not done yet, but look at how far you've come. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. By the way, when you're done, are you, will you please take a picture and send it to me? That's actually a really good trick. I don't know if I mentioned this lately. I know I've said it in the past, but um, when you're painting, if you are painting and you think, um, oh no, I don't, it's not good. First of all, finish. Second of all, once you finish, take a picture. Walk away. Do not throw away your painting. Walk away from it. Look at your picture that you took. I promise you, it will be entirely different. I have seen people blown away by that trick. I don't know how it works. It's just a different perspective. I highly recommend it. Please do that. Do not give up on your painting. All right, I have yellow. And I'm gonna fill in that sausage that we put in in the beginning, the little hot dog. There we go. And then I'm going to fill in his little friends, his little tiny hot dog friends. I'm trying really hard not to touch anything else in the painting that might be wet. Boop. Do you guys make sound effects when you paint? I bet you didn't notice, but I do. Just kidding, I'm sure everyone noticed. Just so you know, that's not just something I do for y'all's benefit. I um, I don't know if y'all do this. Tell me if you do. Um, I make little songs all the time. <laughs> Sing to my pets. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow and put it right up here at the top of my little bud. And if it bleeds in, I'm cool with that. In fact, let's do it on purpose. Love it. Love it. Okay. You know what? Bud needs a leaf. He's got those little curvy vines, but he needs a little leaf. Let's give Bud a little leaf. 
Just little, because he's a bud. Oop. All right, what else? We need some more greenery coming in from out of here. I'm gonna put in another leaf. And another leaf, because I like the way that the green and the purple look against each other. What do you think? I'm gonna do a little green in here. I'll just, I'll just put a little green. Just doing a line. Doing a line so that, you know, you have the idea of the green color back there. Ta-da! Okay, um, we need to do the curlies, don't we? I'm so nervous. We gotta let that dry. And then we're gonna do the little curvies that come out. All right, if you have a teeny tiny brush, this one is, what size are you, friend? Size three, uh, three round. Prince, okay, while well, I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit, um, I apologize if you've had to hear me say this before, but not everybody has done class. Okay, so Princeton, uh, synthetic bristles. This one, my powerhouse, six round. I don't know if I used that word right. I hope I did. Anywho, um, my most frequently used brush, size six round. Synthetic bristles um, work really well, uh, holds water and paint really well, and, um, and no squirrels had to be killed for it. <laughs> so um, e even if you had like tons of money to spend for watercolor, I really highly recommend synthetic bristles. They they work better than uh, than squirrel, I I think, um, for holding on to your paints. All right, if you have a teeny tiny brush, you're going to, want to use that. If you don't, what you're going to do? Pull your paintbrush gently, so you have the nicest of tip on it. All right, for example number one, I'm going to use teeny tiny, and then we will use bigger brush for the benefit of those of you with bigger brush. All right. So, um, using this standard palette, I'm gonna use a little bit of blue, kind of my turquoise blue. This one's my regular blue. Let me show you the difference. See? All right, so regular blue, turquoise blue. I'm gonna use this turquoise. Um, if you don't have turquoise, use your regular blue. What we're gonna do is like little eyelashes coming out, okay? Eyelash, because I'm starting where those little circles are, and I'm just doing some little blue eyelashes coming out. Marvelous, okay. And then let's do some of these eyelashes. See this guy? The longer they get, they squiggle. So let's do a squiggle. Squiggle. Isn't that fun? But you do, you have to wait until it's dry. Otherwise this would be melting all over the place. Just a few little squiggles. Okay. Hooray. All right, I promised to use the bigger brush. Let's do it. Friends, friends, friends. Pulling it off the side so I don't have water everywhere. And then I'm gonna Pull it to a point. Grab a little paint. All right, ready? Um, if you want to get a thin line, you want to make sure that brush just barely touches. So have it straight up and down, not to the side. Side gives you a fat line. Straight up and down. Little eyelashes coming off of my flower. Boop, boop. Oh, how long are the eyelashes? Excellent question, Amy. Um, you know, they're gonna go about halfway down your petal. That's how long they are, about halfway. You guys, I love the way this looks. All right, ready? Squiggles and a squiggle. You don't have to do a bazillion squiggles. Unless, you know, that moves you and then do it. Remember, you can turn your paper. There's no rule that says you cannot. Turn your paper if you need to. All right. Eh, make it rush. All right, you think we're done. We're not done yet. We're almost done. We're almost done. All right, we need to add a little detail to these leaves because they're just like a wash right now. All right, I'm gonna take a little green and I'm gonna come right down the middle and then I'm gonna do, see these little businesses that come out? 
I'm just going a little, I guess there's like the veins of the leaf, right? So little line down the middle. It doesn't touch the end, almost, but it doesn't. And then these little lines coming out from that middle line, they're kind of curvy. They do not touch the sides either, almost, but they don't. Bloop. You know, just little ones coming out. Guess what you do next? Sign your name because you're done. You did it. Um, and then you know what you do after that? You take a picture of it. And then you know what you do? You post it in the comments of this video. Or or you DM it to me so I can see. And um, then when you're when you when you put your comments or you DM me um, with your beautiful, beautiful paintings, um you will let me know what else you want to paint. What do you want to create? What do you want to draw? We can do it together. Um, hey guys, uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, I Next week's class is also going to be pre-recorded um, when we get to, because of like family thingies that I need to do. Um, when we, when school starts back up, we'll probably go back to the live classes. Um, but yeah, today obviously pre-recorded and then next week pre-recorded but it will still be posted. Amy Pagan Art at noon. Okay, so I will see you there. Thank you guys for painting with me, creating with me, drawing with me, um, hanging out and talking with me, and I appreciate it, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic morning. Monday, Monday. Have a fantastic Monday. Have a fabulous, fabulous week. I am always glad to create with you all. Thank you for joining me. See you right back here next week, Monday at noon for Amy Pagan Art. Take care. Bye.